Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Bit of a disappointing morning so far. It's spitting with rain, which I knew it was going to. I had to abandon the first video I was going to do, which is the church at Woodmanston. Um, which I've done videos from before about four years ago, but I wanted to go a little bit more in depth. But I am here in Banstead and at All Saints Church, the ancient All Saints Church. So we are going to make a video out of this somehow even in this grim February weather, although it's warming up a little bit now. This church was built between 1100 and 1220, although there's been a, a church on this site since Saxon times. Saxon times, it's a long, long time. Long, long time. I filmed, um, I filmed uh, an old friend's wedding here, actually, back in the day. The tower is 13th century, 13th century. And there was a manor house on this site, adjacent to the church, to the south side, which will be over there. So yeah, long, long occupation in Banstead. People have actually said to me in the past, haven't you done any videos from Banstead? Well, I've done from around the area. Um, Look at this magnificent tomb here. Look at that. That's incredible, really incredible. Can't work out what it says, but it's nice. All the same. By the 19th century, the church was in real disrepair. So in the 1860s, it was renovated by the architect G.E. Street to what it is today. Very much a flint church. I think the obvious parts you can see from inside. Um, should we go in and see if it's open? Otherwise it's going to be a... I mean, this is a very short video anyway, because the weather's crap. Um, but you press on, don't you? You press on. If there's loads of people in there, I, I probably won't uh, do anything, but we'll see. And it's open. How lovely. They ring the bells. There. Isn't it nice? This is the second time recently where I've come into a church in a town and it's open. But sometimes you go into the sticks and into the countryside and they're shut. These fantastic pillars are 13th century. They're the 13th century pillars. And here. The font, not the top of course, the lid, but the font is 14th century. It's a 14th century font. Isn't amazing. Even with the busy road outside, it's so quiet in here, so quiet. And here's some, a lot of memorials to the prominent Lambert family from the area who lived here in the area for about 700 years. Um, they're also related to the church we were going to do in Woodmanston, that would be for another day, um, as well, the Lambert family, famous Lambert family. Here lieth James Reed, who for 40 years served King Charles I and King Charles II and King James II. Uh, wow, that's a hell of a resume. When I was filming the wedding for my friend Sarah, I think I was about here, if I remember rightly, and it was, God, oh, Sarah, remind me, was it 18 years ago? Yeah. Really peaceful, really peaceful. Just seeing how ancient this church is, how ancient. The oldest known memorial is of a child who died in 1618, only a month after being baptized here. I don't know where that plaque is, unfortunately. Terrible straight ways of child mortality back in the day. 
Here we go, a list of rectors of all saints. Renolf before 1282. The Renolf before 1282, going right through the ages, right through the ages, to Maria Palace in 2011. 1282 to 2011, isn't that amazing? I'll be honest, I didn't expect it to be open, so I'm rather pleased it is. Rather pleased it is. Um, oh, that's an old one, 16, 19. Oh, this is the plaque, yeah, the one I was talking about, the, the child. Paulie Tracy. Um, yeah, on the, it's hard to read, County of Surrey, 1619. 1619. Yeah, some of those beams up there, amazing. Very old to think some of that. I do like this area. I just like this area, it's very, very chilled, very, it's nice. I can't really put my finger on it why, but it's just nice. Nice feeling. It's very dark in here, so I'm not sure you can do this. This is another uh, floor plaque uh, grave for uh, another member of the Lambert family, Mrs. Anne Lambert, and a few others. Also the body of Mary. Oh, there we go. Quarter to twelve. I have a lunch booked at the Woolpack. I don't think I've ever been in before. Gosh, this is all local to me. Um, I don't think I've ever been in there before. But it looks very nice. Um, as you can see, I'm looking up again, Lambert, 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 Lambert. Prominent family here, Lambert. Here for many centuries. The Lambert family, I think, so, I said earlier, I think, 700 years. They also had ties in the 1800s to Epsom Racecourse and the Earl of Derby. There was a famous horse racing there. If you call yourself a Derby in another country, you have horse racing. The origination of that term, Derby, comes from Epsom Racecourse. So thank you all, Saints, for being nice in this little video. Probably quite a short video, this. We're now going to head down to the wall pack for lunch. We managed to um, rescue some of the day. So I'm rather pleased about that. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Just thought it actually said it's not open on a, on a Friday normally. So that's quite handy. Right, let's... Uh, Let's head on down to the wall pack. Let's go. Huh. As we head back to the wall pack, I thought we'd just stop here quickly. There's a nice little footpath up to the churchyard. Um, let's have a quick look. It just leads you out to the back of the church. I do love we these weeping angels. Sorry, Doctor Who reference. Great, aren't they? So a quick walk around All Saints Church in Banstead. Very brief video of this. Uh, the weather's shocking, but hey, for every time you've got shocking weather, you've got beautiful blue sky and warm weather as well. So it's fine, it's fine. So just now going into the wall pack for lunch. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Be like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time when hopefully it's not raining. Take care.